Don't worry, Kelly will be training you first. Kelly's training us? This day is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This day is bananas, B-A-N-A. I don't have a headache. I'm just preparing. Could you scoot over here on my dress? I thought you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding. I know, but there was an emergency. I look really good in white. Hey, pink the color, pink the person, hot dogs, basically anything that is awesome. Snow cones. Hey, Michael wanted me to ask you how to raise your desk chair. It's the lever on the side. <laughs> That's what I told him. Thanks. Oh my God, he is so cute. Would you talk to him for me and see if he likes me? No, I don't think I can. Oh, please, Jim, please, please, Jim, please, please, please. He's so cute. I like him so much and I would do it, but I'm too shy. Please, Jim, please, 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 Jim, please, please, please. Well, I manage my department and I've been doing that for several years now. And God, I've learned a lot of life lessons along the way. Your department's just you, right? Yes, Jim, but I am not easy to manage. Hey, Kelly. What's up? Nothing. Oh, except, oh my god, Jim. Last night, Ryan and I totally, finally hooked up. It oh, was awesome. That's great. I'm really happy for it. I know, and it was so yeah. funny, because we were at this bar with his friends, and mm -hmm. I was sitting next to him the whole night. And it wasn't making a move, so in my head, I was like, Ryan, what's taking you so long? <laughs> and then he kissed me, and I didn't know what to say. Wow. So I said, Ryan, what took you so long? I mean, I just said it to him. Can you believe that? Wow. Oh my God, Jim, is that embarrassing? I'm embarrassed. No, don't be. Oh, no. Oh, thank God, because right. I was nervous, Jim. You will not believe. I was I bet. so nervous. But now, now I have a boyfriend. All right. <laughs> I hooked up with her on February 13th. How did Ryan use it as an object? As an object. Ryan used me as an object. What has two skinny chicken legs and sucks at ping pong? Hi, Kelly. Guess whose boyfriend it is. I don't want to guess. I'll give you a hint. It's not my boyfriend. I think it's a guy over here. I don't talk trash. I talk smack. They're totally different. Trash talk is all hypothetical. Like, your mom is so fat she could eat the internet. But smack talk is happening, like, right now. Like, you're ugly and I know it for a fact because I got the evidence right there. Your boyfriend is so weak, he needs steroids just to watch baseball. Jim couldn't hit a ping pong ball if it was the size of the moon. Were Jim's parents first cousins that were also bad at ping pong? If I had created a website with this many problems, I'd kill myself. Do you have a question, Kelly? Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? you to tell me that you care about me. That is what I want. Kelly, I'm your boss now, okay? You can't keep talking to me like I'm your boyfriend. Oh, big, strong man, fancy, new, whatever. I don't think you ever cared about me. I never cared about you. Six months ago, Karen Filippelli sent me an email, asked me out. I said no because I was committed to our relationship. Well, I hope you're still committed because I'm pregnant. And guess what, buddy? I am keeping it. Okay, okay. Do you feel prepared to help me raise a baby? I can't, I can't talk about this right now, okay? After work, we'll go out to dinner. We'll talk about it then, okay? We have a date! I never really thought about death until Princess Diana died. That was the saddest funeral ever. That and my sisters. That is a great idea. Ultimatums are key. Basically, nobody does anything for me anymore unless I threaten to kill myself. This summer, I did the Minority Executive Training Program at Yale. You guys, I'm like really smart now. You don't even know. You could ask me, Kelly, what's the biggest company in the world? And I'd be like, blah, 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 giving you the exact right answer. I'm really excited to introduce you guys to Ryan Howard. He has achieved a great deal but in the last no week. No achievement is greater than his on-again, off-again girlfriend. What are you? Who am I? I'm Kelly Kapoor. The business bitch. It is important to brand yourself, so I have a couple things in the works. The business bitch, the diet bitch, the shopping bitch, the etiquette bitch. For all their generosity of spirit, they password protect their wireless? Try Jesus. 
Opus Dei. Lily moves to the top of the queue. So number five becomes number four, number six becomes number five, number three becomes number two, et cetera, et cetera. And let's just say that I just sent back Love Actually, which was awesome. And they sent me Uptown Girls, which is also awesome. But guess what? Now I want to see Love Actually again, but it's at the bottom of the queue. Oh no, what do I do? What I do is this. I go online, I go click, 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 and I change the order of the queue so that I can see Love Actually as soon as I want to. It's so easy, Ryan. Do you really not know how Netflix works? I guess I forgot. You're such a dick. Ryan, well done. Two minutes, 42 seconds. Additionally, Pam, you win 10 because she said awesome 12 times. Mm -hmm. And Jim, you win five because she mentioned six romantic comedies. Everyone may have your attention. I would like to introduce you to Mr. Danny Cordray. He is going to be joining us as our new traveling salesman. Say hello to Danny. Me. Okay, you know what? Yeah! Hey. Oh, oh my God, I have so much to tell you. Really? Yes, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, they had a baby and they named it Surrey. And then Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, they had a baby too and they named it Shiloh. And both babies are amazing. Great. What's new with you? I just told you. If I get to stay and Ryan is laid off, I will kill myself, like Romeo and Juliet, the Claire Danes one. What about second base? Like, if Michael said he got to second base with you, does that mean you, like, closed a deal? Excuse me? I mean, that's a baseball term, right? I, I don't know what Michael was talking about. I don't know. I cannot wait to visit Ryan in prison. I'm going to wear my hottest tracksuit and get my hair done and then be like, hi, Ryan. And then all the other prisoners are going to be like, damn. Ryan, you got a hot ex-girlfriend. Ooh, I would never have treated her so bad when I was outside of prison. Well, if you don't have to do them. Meredith, what are you doing? I could be pregnant. Okay, no. Oh, my resolution was to get more attention. No, nope, she's lying. Well, I just need to know where this is going. Hey, I like you. All right, what's not to like? But you need to access your uncrazy side. Otherwise, maybe this thing has run its course. Don't you dare walk away from me, Daryl Philbin. You are the most selfish person I've ever met in my Slow entire- Slow Think it over. Daryl Philbin is the most complicated man that I have ever met. I mean, who says exactly what they're thinking? What kind of game is that?